But as WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff tells us, a prominent local businessman is trying to save his life. 16 years have passed, but the shockwaves still resonate. Officers Carlos Owen, Charles Bennett, and Harley Chisholm III cut down in a hail of gunfire. Public servants, heroes in blue, gone forever. You can imagine the pain and the anguish that the families of these three officers endured following that tragic day. Bart Starr Jr., businessman and son of the late legendary quarterback, has always revered police. But he says executing 44-year-old Nathaniel Woods this week would only compound the tragedy. He's never met Woods, but his family has researched this case and now believes that Woods' lawyers failed him. To a degree that's almost unfathomable. I believe this man is not in any way uh, to be considered for the death penalty. Co-defendant Kerry Spencer is also awaiting execution. Not in dispute, Spencer fired the shots that killed the officers. Nathaniel Woods, who turned down a plea deal on advice of counsel, was later convicted of conspiracy to murder. He didn't fire a single shot. And in fact, had surrendered prior to the shooting. A lot of people are unaware of that. His literal words were, I give up, I give up. Please don't use that mace on me. There have been numerous failed appeals for Woods, but Starr made another one Friday, delivering a letter to the woman who can halt the lethal injection. Governor Ivey, our hearts are at peace, knowing we have made the right decision to help Nate. We pray you will come to the same conclusion. If you reach deep inside, you will have the opportunity to elevate the lives of those in Nate's family, especially his three children. But without any action by the governor or the U.S. Supreme Court, Nathaniel Woods will be put to death by lethal injection at the Holman Prison in Atmore this coming Thursday. Jeff Elias off WVTM 13.